Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the vineyard of wellness, the journey of being mentally, spiritually, emotionally, socially healthy and well. I am your host, Lady Renee Thomas James, and the vineyard of wellness is for those of us who are on a journey to maintaining self, maintaining and preserv- preserving our healthiest self in the different categories of our lives hi hello how are you doing let me tell you something two things i'm doing well i'm doing well i'm currently wearing one of my favorite sweaters that is filled with sweater pills if you know what that means i'm here i'm like i hope the camera doesn't catch it i hope the camera doesn't catch it because it's not cute darling but i'm comfortable and the the sweater i love the sweater but it's filled with heels and i'm like like, girl, <laughs> we're wearing this today. We are wearing this today. You know, it's, I'm doing well. How are you doing? How is your heart? How is your mind? How is your body? How is your soul? How is your being? Returna, um, she's on Instagram at r-i-t-u-r-n-e-r-r she has she i think she's the one that coined the quote that says i am a worthy being just by being let me tell you something the first time i heard that it stuck with me it's a vibe it's it's some people look for worthiness in their jobs, in money, in other people. It's beyond my thinking, but yes, it happens. Not realizing that we are worthy beings just by being. In today's podcast, (laughs) if you see me looking down, I have my notes. In today's podcast, we will be talking about how to show yourself love. And before we get into the episode, I am going to be talking about the three things things that I am loving this week and if you're watching you'll see me with a product um if you are not watching thank you for listening on your podcast streams I appreciate it don't forget to subscribe don't, doesn't matter where you're watching be it on YouTube or on your podcast streams don't forget to subscribe subscribe okay so if you're watching or listening the first product comes to you from the ordinary So this is the ordinary glycolic acid, acid, 7% toning solution. Now, let me tell you the truth is everybody and their mama for the past two years have been talking about this toner now for me i'm like you know what i can wait because i i'm a i'm a toner girl i am a toner girl i love my toners like some people say it has no benefits like tell that to my skin my skin says otherwise now for this i find that i do love the solution it is quite light when you shake it up it does look a little bit it gets foamy but it's not soapy so i love that that's number one and i love the light feel of the toner number two i love that when you when you use a toner you feel it you feel feel it you feel the ingredients working i will say that for my skin i am only able to use this um, at a maximum of twice per week and sometimes i'll even go once so once to twice per week i will say be um pay attention to your skin and how it reacts to the solution your skin may dry out leaving it dry and brittle and if that is happening i would say dec- decrease the usage so for me it's once to twice per week but i do like it leaves my skin feeling clean i do follow up with a serum and moisturizers with an s Correct. So a few moisturizers with this, but I'm not going to lie to you. I am not completely mad at the results of this. The second product comes to you from Laneige. 
water sleeping mask um hydrate brighten and soften now i have been i think this is my of my fourth jar i have been using this ever since they came out i got it maybe two years ago in my birthday kit i think i want to say that because i remember using yes it it was so small it was so tiny i got it in my birthday kit and that was probably one of the best things Laneige did when they put together that kit i have not stopped using this it is lightweight it is in gel form let me see if i can show you there in gel form if you're watching you'll see right it's in gel form with a light blue color and the texture is oh my are you seeing that if you're watching you'll see so that's the texture and the texture leaves my skin just feeling hydrated high and i'm i i mainly use it for the hydration in the winter so i don't use it at, during the summer but i do use it primarily in the winter and if you are watching on youtube you would see that i did, did it on my hand and you would see the hydration coming through on my hands right there beautiful they know what they were doing with this recipe laneige water sleeping mask hydrate brighten soften i this is a staple for me hands down it's a staple for me so i would use this last in my nighttime routine and there are some days if i'm staying home or working from home i would also use this um in my morning routine if i'm working from home but primarily this is a nighttime routine products for me the last product comes to you from belief b-e-l-i-f so this is belief aqua bomb overnight lip mask let me tell you hydrates and soothes lips y'all they know what they were doing they know what they were doing with this product if you are watching on youtube or on spotify the video you would see the product let me tell you and you get a good amount like you get a good amount for this size like i have been using this now for maybe three months and we are still going i love the packaging i I love um, the product. It does leave my skin feeling soft, smooth. This is a staple. Y'all see my lips? Y'all see my lips? It works. Like, I don't like cracked lips. My lips are big and gorgeous. And I like for them to always be hydrated and moisturized. And I find that this product helps me to maintain the beauty of my lips that I'm looking for as a black woman. With these gorgeous lips, no fillers, no fillers, <laughs> no fillers here i find that this works well for me let me know if you would try any of these products in the comments below so we are talking about how do you show yourself love how do you show yourself love do you ever stop to think how am i showing me the individual love what are the things that make me happy? What are the things that make me smile? What are the things that bring me joy? <laughs> My heart is warm. If you are watching, I probably blushed a little bit because I was just thinking about the things that, that make my heart warm. What are the things that I look and I go, that's a vibe. That's a vibe. How do you show yourself love? I'm going to give you a few ways that you can show yourself love. These may be for you you they may not be for you but i guarantee you of all these ways you can find something in it for yourself all of it might not be for you but you might hear one where you say you know what renee that's me that's me and before i get into the different ways that you can show yourself love i want you to also consider this one important thing how you treat yourself how you talk to yourself is how you treat and talk to other people. How genuine you are with yourself is how you genuine you are with other people. Because some people can be nice, but a little bit nasty. And I've spoken to many people in my lifetime, and they know when people are nasty, <laughs> call it nice, but nasty, with person their personality. They're just... They're just nice because they're putting on a show. People pick it up. People pick up that negative vibe, that negative energy. 
you may not realize that your nice is not genuine because you're putting it's a performance for you. This year, what we want to do is take off the scales and come bare and naked as who we are. Honest, transparent, true, authentic, genuine. And we have to be first, we have to be able to give ourselves that gift first before we are able to give other people that of ourselves. Let me know if you understood that. We have to be able to give ourselves the gift of honesty, transparency, truth, authenticity before we are able to give that to someone else. Yes? Yes. So it, before you think about like, okay, what, what are the ways I can give myself love? Think about, do I fall in any love language category, right? And I can put, I'm going to put below a link where you can do a quiz for your love language because I think that's important it's important to know if you fall in any of the categories some people they don't see themselves in any of the categories and some people see themselves all of the categories and some people see themselves in a few of the categories of the love languages right so it could be words of affirmation that's for sure me <laughs> y'all I keep a journal oh, come on I keep a journal acts of service receiving gifts quiet time and quiet quiet and quality time physical touch i can tell you at one point in time it was receiving gifts for me receiving gifts and i was in my 20s i think it was just receiving gifts like give me gift where love and it was also giving gifts so chances are how you want to be loved is how you showed love so i gave gifts quite a bit a lot and i realized later on that that was a love language of mine and i also like receiving gifts now for me it's aff words of affirmation i also do love quality time and based on how i react this past um holiday when i got my gift from asadeth i would also say receiving gifts as well but i love the quality time words of aff affirmation and receiving gifts my husband is acts of service and quality time that man let me tell you something and as well physical touch so you're going to think about okay do i fall in any of these categories categories and if I do fall in any of these categories, do I see where I give myself or show myself love in these categories? I love words of affirmation. If you see sometimes on different um, mirrors, the messages I leave for myself, I'm just now seeing it while doing, and I saw it before, meaning, you know, I visualized it before, but now it's hitting hard like, girl, this is why you do that. Like I have sticky notes, messages on, um, mirrors for myself just encouraging myself because life can be challenging and I do not want to be taken down by life I do not want to get up every morning to say I don't like it here <laughs> Sometimes that will happen, but I don't want that to be my daily life. So you can show yourself love by number one, knowing your self-worth. Knowing, if you've heard nothing else today, knowing your self-worth. I started off by saying that returners quote, I am a worthy being just by being. And I realize that people who do not know their self-worth, they oftentimes walk through the, um, the world, number one, as a victim of everybody's circumstances. Like they're just victims. This person did that to me. That person did that to me. Oh, this happened to me. Knowing your self-worth. When you know your self-worth, that way you're able to walk away from things, situations, situationships, and circles that don't serve you in a healthy way. Say that with me again. When you know your self-worth, worth you walk away from things situations situationships and circles that don't serve you in a healthy way i think self-worth because it is not sexy it is not talked about as much in media and i think it's something that we need to talk about more knowing your self-worth people been staying in relationships for way longer than they should because they don't know their self-worth 
worth. People been staying in friendships way longer than they should. They they should. People been staying on jobs way longer than they should. People been staying in congregations, being misused, being mistreated way longer than they should because they don't know their self-worth. While it is something that I have never struggled with, it is something that I do help people with along the way. First, what is it that you're doing? Because a lot of times people without, with, with low self-worth or no self-worth, they think that, you know, they should do everything for someone and thinking that they're going to receive that same thing in return. What are you doing that is not serving you in a healthy way? How are you showing up for somebody that is making you wonder, is this right? right for me? How does this make me feel? Does this make me feel valued in this situation? If you are not feeling valued, don't be afraid to talk to that person and let that person know this happened and it doesn't make me feel valued. Am I misreading something here? Don't be afraid to have that conversation. And I also find that people with low self-worth, they are afraid to have that conversation. Don't be afraid to have that conversation. Open yourself up to hear the things that you may not want to hear but the things that will serve you well it may not it may not be good but it's how it serves you well is time to walk away because this situation is not serving me it was nice to know you i pray that when our paths cross that you know we can say hi hello goodbye but this situation is no longer beneficial to us know your self-worth number two you can love yourself more by journaling your thoughts feeling emotions find a guided journal i have a few journal prompts coming out i'll have it when this airs and i'll link it below like nighttime journal prompts ask yourself what about today that you liked or loved? What about today that you didn't like or love? Did I show up for myself in a way today that would make my future self proud? Did I show up for myself on my job that would make my future self proud? And if I have offsprings, did I show up for myself that my offspring would be proud of? <laughs> what did I do today to show my body love? Did I move my steps today? Did I do that stretch? that I wanted to do journal don't be afraid to be honest through journaling be honest with yourself through journaling you would be surprised at how much you understand about yourself when you journal your thoughts and you look back years later like wow I was going through that and I came through because I believed in me I loved me enough to nurture my feelings my emotions and give myself grace in that moment I appreciated that situation enough knowing that there was a lesson coming and it was a heavy hit but I journaled my thoughts I prayed about it. I stuck with the course, <laughs> meaning the course of life. And I got past or through that situation with some hurt, maybe some pain, maybe smiles for sure. Lessons learned. And I can look back and say, I am proud of me. Journaling is a beautiful thing. Beautiful. Number three, you can show yourself love by taking yourself on solo dates. The one that most people are waiting for, solo dates, spa dates. We talk about, we spoke about in the previous episode where, you know, how we can save for the things that we want, for the life that we want, how we can budget for that. Taking yourself out on solo dates, solo dinners, nail um, appointment, mani pedicure appointment, an outdoor adventure, kayaking, hiking, climbing, canoeing, tree trekking. I love tree trekking trekking by the way i'm not a small person in body and when i go tree trekking like <laughs> you have a few bigger people there me being one of them and people are like you're just going i'm like yeah it's like i'm so proud of you i love tree trekking i love trekking i love it thinking about it now my smiles i'm like and i got i like like bruise myself but i i love it i love the i love the outdoors i love the beach i love the outdoors oh yeah solo dates <laughs> you can take yourself out on solo dates what does that look like for you right of late 
later, since lately, I found this 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 restaurant in Ajax. It's called The Spot. It's a dessert restaurant. I've been there twice, y'all, by myself. <laughs> <laughs> on a solo date they have this crepe on their menu it's, it's crepe with ice cream in the middle and like a syrup on top oh my god solo dates can look like um diy at home baths it can look like a movie be it at the movies or at home i show myself love in one way where if everybody when everybody is gone to sleep sometimes i'm up by myself with a hot cup of hot cocoa or a glass of wine and i'm watching a movie by myself it could be a girly a chick flick girl flick it could be that or it could be something you know with guns blazing that is how i feed my soul that is how i stay sane that is how i stay calm that is how i show up for myself and for my husband and for my kids i feed me it could be um going to a church event like a woman's event it could be going out even with a girlfriend i know i said solo girls um bro how do you show yours and you're the one paying for yourself how do you show yourself love the f a fourth way you could show yourself love is speaking kindly to yourself remember we said at the beginning that how you speak to yourself is how you treat yourself and how you will, will treat and speak to others how you speak to yourself is how you treat yourself and it's how you will treat and speak to others speak kindly to yourself i am beautiful i am brilliant i am worthy i am fruitful i think my thing behind here if you can see it it says here i am a well of hope positivity joy love peace grace goodness and it does say october vibes but i like it i'm gonna show it here i am a well of hope and this is my quote guys so if you quote it renee said i am a well of hope positivity joy peace grace and goodness i hope that's for somebody so speak kindly to yourself encourage yourself there is this verse in the bible i hope i don't start crying because every time i think about the verse it makes me cry where david was in trouble and the verse said david not verbatim david looked to the left looked to the right and there was trouble and david encouraged himself in the lord where when tomorrow looks gloomy when today looks gloomy when you feel as if there is no hope when you have very little faith or even no faith encourage yourself in the lord i have been in situations where i can't see tomorrow and the truth is maybe i shouldn't be the one to see tomorrow maybe that is for god to see tomorrow right and for me to step out in faith but i can't even see the faith right and i have to cry about it and encourage myself in the lord i I have to say lord this is it i'm done i i am at my wits end i can't see the thing that i'm supposed to be seeing i am done take it encouraging yourself may look like as well how you show up for yourself today i don't want to go to work but i need the money i have bills let me make myself a coffee encourage yourself feeling and you know feeling moody that i got this you are brilliant you are beautiful you are smart you are articulate you are a creative there is none like you on this planet you were made special you were made unique and you are a worthy being just by being encourage yourself and speak yourself kindly show yourself grace we don't always have to be hard with ourselves give yourself softness kindness be smooth with yourself meditating on positive things you can speak kindly to yourself while meditating we had a few episodes ago where the things that you can think about while you're meditating encouraging words words of affirmation things you think about how you come back from the pos the negative thought who am i in that moment when negative thoughts come 
Who am I in that moment when I want to call myself stupid? Who am I in that moment when I want to tell myself that I'm a fool? No, you are not. You are brilliant. You are beautiful. You are a creative being. You are worthy. You are valuable. Your feelings are valid. They will overtake you <laughs> if not controlled, but they are valid. The things that you want are real and they are achievable. Speak to yourself kindly. Number five, eating healthy and moving our bodies. Now, let me tell you something. Something. I am on a moving body thing where I had a I had a pinch nerve last year twice a few times and then down to the end of the year have had a pinch nerve again and I'm still working my way through that pinch nerve the doctors will advise otherwise but they're not feeling how I'm feeling in terms of in my body I need to be moving and remember I heard this from a doctor years ago slow progress is still progress when I had Joshua so 14 years ago he was preemie and every day he came back Joshua was doing a little bit better and then he would go back and then do a little bit better and doctor said that's okay slow progress is good progress any form of improvement is good eating healthy and I look I love vegan meals Jesus I love vegan meals like every day all day give me that vegan meal and people ask every now and then how can I incorporate more veggies into my meals in the last episode romanticizing your life romanticize that meal what do you want your plate to look like it could be two um soups or two and you could do the the the, the carrots you can roast your carrots whole it's a vibe it's cute it's cute it's gorgeous you can roast your carrots whole so you can have two carrots on your plate one or two scoops of mashed potatoes and then broccoli sauteed broccoli or if you if you're not a broccoli girl broccoli and cauliflower if you don't want that then you can it can be bell peppers with onions sauteed bell peppers with onion that's a vibe that's a vibe and that's your meal do that with cold water i know the internet says about cold water hmm. do that with you know a glass of cold water romanticize your meals eating healthy moving your body yoga if you're not into yoga christian some christians are against yoga that's you know not your thing not your thing stretching your body stretches pilates right dance dance if you like to dance dance is movement walking a variety of exercises with your local be it gym or that one person who is teaching a workout class now i have a few benefits of showing yourself love here stay with me and the benefits are the ability to set healthy boundaries decreased anxiety and depression improved physical health improved rates of success success and goal achievement because naturally you are encouraged with with that change in your life and loving yourself to be able to set goals and knock them out and if you have not achieved that goal there is something that you learned along the way right stable self-worth the fears of failure will decrease the fears of failure will decrease why because you understand that if you're not creating an opportunity to fail, it means you're not even trying. And if you are successful, that is amazing. And if that thing failed, you learned something along the way and that path led you to something else. Fears of failure will decrease. Eating healthy and moving your body. Yes, that's included. The benefits in showing yourself love. Enhanced health healthy relationships because what we are now implementing boundaries we know the things we like we know the things we love we see ourselves as worthy beings yes we are happier we are filled with joy freedom from depending on other people's approval and validation why we are now sure of ourselves we are sure of our abilities to show up in this world as our confident creative worthy self improve 
improved resilience, overcome obstacles, challenges, and stressful situations. Self-love and showing yourself love goes a far way. I know in the media you see, you know, the spa and the baths and the this and all of that is beautiful. Remember, it's also speaking to yourself kindly. It's also knowing that you are worthy. It's also moving your body. All of that. It's journaling. Journaling is a vibe. Journaling, it's my vibe. <laughs> It's my vibe. Thank you for listening. Let me know in the comments below how are the different ways, if it wasn't mentioned here, and even if it was mentioned here, how do you show yourself love? How do you show up in this world when you show yourself love? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for listening. This is the vineyard of wellness, the journey of being mentally, spiritually, emotionally, socially healthy and well. Until next time, have a beautiful week. Thank you for listening.